Let me tell you a secret. The quadcopter tuning is actually quite simple, but only if you have at least the basic knowledge on how to do it. Of course, the tuning is almost like an art. Getting the perfect tune in the first try will rather not happen. But getting a decent tune, no problem, in no time, definitely yes. Step one, apply the defaults. Do not look for any magical tunes on the internet, because if they are not made for exactly your quadcopter, they probably will do more harm than good. Step two, maiden it first. To tune it for flight, you have to fly it. If for any reason it's not really flyable, that means you're only fixing a problem, not tuning. Step three, ignore the item, because most probably the defaults are more than fine for awesome flight. Sure. You can, but most probably your eventual problems and flight imperfections are really coming from the P-term and the D-term, not really from the I-term. And if it's just fine, why to worry about it in the beginning? Step 4. Concentrate on one axis and one parameter at a time. Do not complicate your work by changing too much at the same time. 5. If not sure what's going on, help yourself with the black box lock. There are hundreds of tutorials on the internet how to read the black box lock and how to identify the potential problems that you are really trying to tune out. Six, fly! You will not solve any single problem on your workbench. You need real life environment and information of how the quad behaves, comparing to how you want it to behave to be able to tune anything. And the majority of the tuning process is actually flying and observing what's going on. Observing what's going on is point seven. You have to pay attention to two very important behaviors of your quadcopter. First of them are vibrations and second of them are feeling loose during the maneuvers. Vibrations. When something vibrates and you will hear it and you will see it, that means one of the followings. Your P gains are too high, your D gains are too high, your filtering is absolutely completely off or there is just something wrong with the hardware and you have damaged propeller, damaged motor, damaged frame or any other kind of the hardware problem. When your quad is feeling loose in the air, wobbles or in general does not really want to follow the stick movements, it's usually because of not enough of the P gain. Sure, years ago it might have been because of not enough of the I gains, but those days are over. Like I said in one of the previous points, ignore the I gains for now. Wobbly and loose squat means you have to raise the P gains. And now, your real job during the tuning process is to push the P gains and the D gains as high as possible before any negative symptoms appear. And when those negative symptoms will appear and those will be those pesky vibrations, it's a sign that now you have to start lowering the P gains and D gains slightly after all the vibrations go away. 11. Change one of the flight parameters, fly, observe the behavior and repeat the whole process. 12. For how long should you be doing that? Until you're happy with the results. Sometimes it takes only a few lipos, sometimes it's a long and tedious process. But ultimately, at the end, it depends if you accept the tune of your quad. And if you do, your quad was successfully tuned. If you would like to know more about the PID controllers, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!